We're learning more about the man charged with this week's deadly stabbing spree on the University of Texas campus. Police say Kendricks White suffers from mental health issues and had been involuntarily committed for treatment. Jacqueline Sarkeesian is live this morning from campus with more. Jacqueline. Dave White was a student here at UT and former classmates say he was intelligent, easygoing and very active in a student group for black professionals. But he's now charged with murder and police say more charges are expected. This was not a conspiracy. This was not a person that had a vendetta against any particular group. We have solid grounds and reason to believe that the individual was suffering from mental health issues. That was UT Police Chief David Carter speaking during yesterday's press conference. He and school officials say the 21 year old suspect was not targeting any specific group, but they do believe he was suffering from mental health issues. White used a large hunting knife to kill fellow student 19 year old Harrison Brown and injure three others. Two of the victims have been released, but the third student, Stuart Bayless, is still hospitalized. Flowers have been placed on tables near where the attacks happened hoping it'll bring a little bit of comfort to students as they mourn. So genuine, just happy and intelligent and funny. It's just talented, so, so talented. And I've never heard him say a negative word about a human being in my entire life. I think it's still very hard for my entire group of friends to grasp what is going on. It's still, it still hasn't set in. Uh, every second we're just like confused and angry and just very sad, but we're all here. We're all prepared to celebrate him and cherish his life. That was one of Harrison's friends sharing about him. Now the university has planned a memorial for tonight to remember Harrison and the three other victims of Monday's stabbing. It starts tonight at seven on the main mall in front of the tower. The service is expected to last about an hour and university police say another stabbing unrelated to this one happened on the West Campus Monday afternoon. In that case, one student was sent to the hospital but has non life threatening injuries. Back to you in the studio. All right, Jacqueline, thank you very much.